Hi, I'm Val Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day, and thank you for joining in the Valder Beebe Show. I'm your host, Valder Beebe. Okay, I'm back after the break. I've got a new guest for you. I've got Dr. Brendan Stiles, and he's here with some great information. He's going to be talking about cancer and COVID-19 all wrapped in one. Dr. Stiles, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Hi, Valder. Thanks so much for having me. Well, Dr. Stiles, you know, you're uh, a thoracic surgeon, how come you know so much about uh, uh, cancer and COVID-19? Well, I think about cancer a lot. I think one of the cancers that in particular is lung cancer. COVID has had a huge impact on lung cancer, as well as many other common cancers, breast cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer. So it's really important for everybody, I think, to know what's going on. Now, you say we've had a decline or a decline in diagnosis. Well, that's a really important point, Valder. I think there's certainly been a decline in diagnoses. If you compare to 2019, in the early part of the year, new cancer diagnoses were down almost 50%. We've trended that back, but still for the year, we're down about 30% for many common cancers, breast cancer, ovarian cancer, lung cancer. And what that means, you know, ordinarily we'd be super happy about that, right? We'd be shouting it from the rooftops. We finally got decreases in cancers but they're far exceeding the expected rate of what we should see in terms of decreases. So what we know is that there's many cancers that are just going undiagnosed. That means they're going untreated and potentially it means that they're gonna spread more, present at more advanced stages and potentially take more lives from cancer. So what are some of the regular screenings that people should be scheduling with you and other doctors? Well, screening's tricky, and I certainly wouldn't suggest that everybody needs screening for everything, but I think it's important to talk to your doctor about screening. Many people are eligible for breast cancer screening, for colonoscopy, for colon cancer screening, um, for ovarian cancer screening, and in particular, in my area, for CT screening for lung cancer. I think it's certainly worth the discussion to have about timing of screening during this pandemic, whether or not you fit into the appropriate risk factors for screening. But we do know that cancer screening in many cases decreases the chance of dying from that cancer. This is particularly true from lung cancer, where I deal, where, where we know that we can decrease lung cancer mortalities by about 20% with cancer screening. So what are some of the nondescript uh, symptoms of cancer that people should be looking out for? Well, that, again, that's a really, really important point. And there's sort of two sides of the coin. There's one side that's screening. that's really talking about asymptomatic patients and discussions with your doctors. The other side is when you get some of these vague symptoms. And I think just as many people are missing out on their cancer diagnosis because of that. The problem is that a lot of these symptoms are pretty vague. Like you say, and a lot of COVID symptoms are pretty vague. So the, the two overlap quite a bit. Things like just not generally feeling well, weight loss, fatigue, a lot of respiratory symptoms with lung cancer, cough, um, shortness of breath, overlap the symptoms that we see with COVID. And it's really easy to confuse all those things or to just blow them off from, from COVID or COVID times and to ignore those. Certainly any new symptoms or anything just different from your day-to-day -day should be evaluated. Talk to your doctor about what's going on. Dr. Sells, I know you're not from the insurance industry, but could it be the loss of uh, the millions of jobs? Is this impacting people for getting regular screenings and going to the doctor? Because those people that are furloughed, those people that did lose their job, health care goes with those jobs. Well, it's almost a perfect storm, Valder. I think people are worried about COVID. Um, people are sort of in these situations where they can't do the normal things for their health. And then they're also worried about what's gonna happen with their insurance. Can they pay for healthcare? If they get screened, is it gonna find something that leads them down this, this path with these incredible hospital bills? So it's, it's a really tough time. On the other hand, I think a lot of hospitals have tried to extend to patients. I think in many ways, we're trying to become more patient friendly through telehealth, taking medicine to the patients, doing what we can to really help patients get through this is really our responsibility in the healthcare sector. But it's a tough time, without a doubt. I think it's never been a more important time to just communicate with your doctor. Dr. Stiles, I feel so sorry for you guys, the doctors, your prof the professionals who are put in this spot. And I feel so sorry for us as the consumers to have to even weigh going to the doctor or paying my mortgage or going to the doctor and buying food. I don't know this kind of America. This is very, very strange to me, and I'm sure it's strange to other people. For those people that are not making those appointments for whatever reason, is there a place online that can inspire them further? 
there's lots of great sites. And I, I think one site is the new normal same cancer.com. And it really talks about how we're all going through this new time in our lives and unfamiliar things with COVID, but cancer and other diseases are just the same. And so we have to figure out a way to keep treating them. For lung cancer specifically, there's lots of great websites. The Lung Cancer Research Foundation has great information about lung cancer screening and COVID and what to do. There's lots of help out there. I feel bad for people too, but, but make sure you get help. Dr. Brendan Stiles, thank you so very much for being here and lending your voice to something I hope we don't have to talk about anymore. But thank you for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. Well, thanks so much for having me and thanks for drawing attention to this really important topic. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.